Do you get excited about new PCs? Probably not. They've become like toasters, an old one's fine so long as it does its job. I'm talking into one now, 2012's middling specs with basic audio and video software. It works, and that's good enough. All PCs are going in this direction. For interesting, look at the supercomputer in your pocket, sometimes. The apps keep greatly improving, but the hardware is iterative at best now. The big leap was low latency capacitive touchscreens in 2007. A few years of basic with substantial improvements followed, and now good hardware is a commodity. Sure, there are small tweaks and improvements, but no big jump like touchscreens, giving us a few years of phones are boring now. And why is that a problem? We're past the weird, new, and confusing stage. The smartphone has a purpose. I run my life off my phone, as does everyone I know. But look further, at help wanted signs replacing fill out a paper form with scan this QR code, or at poor countries where PCs basically never existed but phones are everywhere for everything. They're tools, and you'll use a tool until there's a better one or you stop doing what you need it for. People will never stop communicating, so they're not going away for a while. That boredom? Mostly early adopters and tech press, the same people who started moving on from PCs once every accountant had one. That's when they became most useful. A large market with relative stability, signaling even the most risk-averse businesses to start developing. The cool new gadget becomes a boring, useful tool. This happens to any technology more than a decade old that's still in use. People rarely talk about them even though they keep the world running. Except for possibly the least expected place. Those startups making all the fun gadgets who claim to be building the future without a trace of irony? They're embracing old, boring technology. People laugh, but greatness doesn't come from your tools. You can make great things with old, boring ones. Do you want to spend time creating or fighting with new, untested technology? If boring technology is one thing, it's tested. It usually just works, and when you find a problem, you're not going to be the first so you can rely on someone else's solution. So, with my old HP laptop by my side, I'll be a champion of boring technology. Someone has to do it. Yay.